Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Best Tech 500 Watt Pure Sine Wave Inverter. Got a lot of questions on these because for a pure sine wave, it's relatively inexpensive. Around $60, $65. I'll put a link down below so you can see. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what's come out of the box. Alright, so we have some type of manual it says it's 500 watt pure sine wave, but we'll find out. A little description of what everything is. And just a little piece of paper, standard one. What else we have? We've got alligator clips. I'll test them and find out what gauge they are and let you know. And our inverter. So also in the box was a cigarette lighter adapter, and handy if you're going to use it in the car, right there, and two fuses, right there. Okay, that's everything that was in the box. Let's take a look at her. Okay, once again, it says it's pure sine wave, has the little pure sine wave, wave right there. Uh, 11 to 15 volts, 100 to 120, Isn't that's what we expected. So, nothing that's unusual on the front of it. We can look at the back. We have our positive and our negative connector, our fan, and two places for fuses, in case you have to replace it. That's good, because sometimes in these inverters, it's really hard to find that. In the front, what do we have? We have two USBs, two receptacles, which is good, because I don't like the little ones that only have one. And, of course, our off and on switch. It's um, not very heavy. For the price, it seems fairly well made. Got places where you can screw it down, but no screws came with it, so you're on your own with that. I'll go ahead and test it and see if it's a pure sine wave, and then we'll run it through some paces and see how it works in real life. And I'll get back to you when ready to do that. Oh, don't forget, if you like these type of videos, please subscribe and like. It helps the channel, and more people who might be interested in this will see it if you like it and subscribe and uh, put a little comment down too. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it together. I'm going to take the red off, positive. These are pretty close together because it's a small unit. I don't like them being that close together. It takes a lot to get this off. Quite a bit on there. Go ahead and put it back on. Positive. So close together, my fingers are running into each other. So I don't really tighten that too much till I'm ready to go in and just do it. Now the negative. Just drop it. Anyone that watches my channel knows shoestring drops lots of things. So I am not a professional YouTuber. I just show you guys what I use and how I do it. And you take that as, as you want. All right, on there tight, positive, negative. Everything else looks all right, so we will find a battery, we will hook it up and see how this works. Okay, we're continuing our review of our Best Tech 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Tested it. It actually is a pure sine wave, but what I call a dirty sine wave. It is pure, but the more load you put on it, I notice the sine wave starts to fluctuate, uh, but it still stays as a pure sine wave. So I will give it points for that. I have it connected here to a little lithium, 100 watt lithium battery. And uh, 
So what we're doing is seeing if it will take a full load. Now, I don't like putting these all the way to the max. So the devices I have set up today will bring us to around 400 watts. So first of all, I have a little strip connected. See it laying back over there. I have a TV set up and a DVD right down there. I guess most of you don't have DVDs anymore, but I do. Little cute little box here. I don't have cable or satellite TV. I have just an antenna, but this little box here gives me all the guide and it lets me tape shows I want to, and there's no subscription fee. So that's really good. One $30 cost for that box and we're good. And I have my computer turned on, just on standby, but it is on. There we go. Okay, it's on. And all of this comes up to about 190 watts. Oh, and counting the fan. Have to count the fan. We're going to put it on high. Now, the Christmas tree we're not going to turn on. That's such an itty-bitty one. It only does 14 watts. It isn't really going to matter. Okay, so everything on the strip just turned on, and that's about, oh, 190 watts. Next, we have plugged in a small vacuum. Yes, I promised Mr. Shoestring if she let me use it, I'd vacuum the floor for. I see more DVDs. I like DVDs. They're inexpensive, and they work. All right, so here's a little vacuum, and we're going to turn it on, too. So, this vacuum runs about 250 watts, plus the 190 on the strip, comes out to about 440, and this is a 500 watt inverter, so it should be able to do it and sustain it for a while. Turn it on, and everything is running. So, I declare this is a successful... 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. Let's go ahead and turn that off. I'll vacuum later. So, it's lightweight. It does the watt it says it's supposed to do. And it is a pure sine wave. So, this passes shoestring preps test. It's inexpensive. And it's quite small. Only problem I have really with it, it doesn't have an LED light, so you'll have to watch the volts your, and watch yourself. Okay, if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and shoestring out.